In this video, we're going to look at HPE Esmeralda Data Fabric wins the CRN Products of the Year Award for 2023. Welcome to this video. And in this video, what I wanted to do was get an update with HPE Esmeralda Data Fabric. And I've got a product expert with me to have that discussion. I'm Calvin Zito. Joanne, why don't you introduce yourself to everybody? So I'm Joanne Stark, and I'm responsible for marketing for HP Esmer Software. Let's talk a little bit about this, because what the impetus for doing this is, is I happen to see something from CRN. Of course, they're a publication who talks to partners a lot, and they awarded HPE Esmeralda Data Fabric as one of their products of the year. That's pretty cool. Why don't you tell me, what, do you, what, what is that CRN products of the year that HPE Esmeralda Data Fabric has earned? So what CRN did is they went out and they picked the top partner-friendly products that were launched recently or at least significantly enhanced over the last year. And then, of course, they turned to solution providers and asked them to choose the winner. And over a number of competitors to us, we came out as the overall winner in the category of big data. At the end of this video, I will have a couple of clickable links where you can go back to the Data Fabric page on hpe.com and learn more. And I'll also give you a playlist of HPE Esmerel um, videos that you can watch on YouTube. But for people who don't really know what Data Fabric is, what is it? More than anything, if you, if you want to be a data-driven organization, you need a way to figure out how to unify all of this disparate data silos that are out there. It's exactly what Data Fabric does. It was designed to be able to go across hybrid environments and read files, objects, tables, and, and streaming data and actually give you direct access to it. Who, who would do this? Who would want to be managing their data like this? Well, there's a number of people, but primarily because everybody wants to be data driven today, it's going to be those in the analytics and AI team and who are being required or asked to give an executive insight. And so they want to be able to go gather all data from all different locations, then process it and deliver the insight. Or it could be a data engineer who is responsible for getting the pipelines ready for the data scientists as it moves down, down the life cycle. Okay. Um, and as I think about that, that, you mean, you said lots of different types of data, file, object, databases. Um, how do we, how do we do this? What's there's, there's, what's the magic sauce? What's the secret sauce that allows us to take all this disparate data and manage it as though it's in a single thing? Well, so there's two pieces of the secret sauce. First is we don't move the data. It stays exactly where it is, but we, use a, a way to be able to put it into what's known as a hybrid data plane. And then within that data plane is the real secret to it all, and that's the global namespace. And essentially, a namespace is what you remember from your storage days. It's an access point. And so it's the namespace that gives you the access point into a data lake, a warehouse, on-prem, edge, all the different clouds. It doesn't matter where the data is. And from the user experience, it's if I'm a user and I'm sitting there looking at my directory tree, if I want to go access something in Munich, all I have to do is click on Munich and I immediately get into that location and the set of data that I've been accessed to go, go look at. In your mind, based on the announcements that we've done over the last, say, six months, what are some of the key enhancements that really probably helped propel Data Fabric to win this CRN award? Well, I think it's the fact that we have such a large grouping of data types that we support, plus the fact that vector is coming very quickly as well, and, and that's critical for um, AI. But I think more than anything, it's that the market has caught up to the product. Um, you know, when I first came here three years ago, just trying to get people to understand what a data fabric was, was really hard. That has completely changed because as everyone wants to become data driven, they're realizing 
how incredibly time consuming it is to go to this silo, get access, go to that silo, go to all these different locations. And it's taking up 60 to 70% of a data engineer's time. So really more than anything, it's the market has become aware that I need to unify my data in a way that means I don't have to move petabytes of content around and pay any egress charges and just be able to do my work and do it quickly. You know, I don't think a lot of people think of HPE as being this company that can help them with these kinds of challenges. And there's some big names that we beat out here. And yes, from the CRN perspective, they said the reason they, they, they had HPE data as mild data fabric is the winner is that we scored highest overall in the category, highest in revenue and profit and in customer need. Who did we beat out? So we beat out the usual suspects, people like Databricks, um, people like Microsoft, Oracle, and Snowflake. And I think one of the big other ones is Cloudera, right? Because they have their data platform. Yes. Um, and that's a big win for HPE. So this is great for us because it, it, it's going to help people understand that we're in this game. We're serious about it. Got a great product. For people that want to learn more about HPE Esmeralda Data Fabric, where can they learn more? Well, they can simply go to hpe.com slash data fabric, and they can go to our webpage and, and start there. Well, I'll give them a clickable link to that here in just a second where you can cool. click on it and go right to it. And again, I'll have some videos where you can learn more about the, the all of the HPE Esmeralda portfolio. And Joanne, thanks a lot for spending a few minutes with me helping me understand this. Anytime, Calvin. Here's that clickable link that we talked about going back to the product page. And here's a playlist of other videos that you can learn more about HPE Esmeralda software. Thanks for joining us in this video. 